all have a decision to make. That's right, for Breath of the Wild, it shall be releasing on both Wii U and Nintendo Switch. Now, what's up guys, HMK everyone's skin. If you've been following my channel all the way from the beginning, I was the biggest advocate for playing Breath of the Wild and keeping it exclusive to the Wii U like they promised. But you know, it's come to the point when they officially released footage of the gameplay of the game, you know, grand landscape of Hyrule, the ruined Hyrule, that I was, you know, noticing a lot of things weird about the Wii U version of the game, and that it definitely has some hiccups in the frame rate, and but that's pretty much it. The graphics have been locked to 720p from what I played at E3. But even though, despite all that, I still had a great experience playing it on the Wii U. However, thanks to the big new reveal from Jimmy Fallon, The Tonight Show with Reggie, allowing him to play Breath of the Wild on the Switch, it seems like the Switch will indeed be the optimal version. A lot of people have been debating this and, you know, theorizing if it is. And from what we saw, everyone's pretty much agreeing that the Switch is going to be the better version when it comes to how the game is going to run. Including the frame rate not dropping at all from the explosions. Because that's one big thing that people who've played the game and seen gameplay of the game on the Wii U version, whenever there's an explosion on screen, the frame rate just takes a dip for the worst. 10 frames, repeated frames. It, I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty, uh, it, it was bad, yeah, but I mean, it didn't detract too much from the experience, but it's something that I definitely would like not to happen when I'm playing Breath of the Wild, especially since we have a huge Grand Hyrule in this game, the biggest that we've ever seen. I want everything to go smooth and perfect, and it looks like the Switch version is gonna be doing just that. I mean, after looking at what we always saw from the Jim Fallon experience, man, I got so hyped for the prospect of the optimal version of the Switch. I should optimal version of Breath of the Wild on the Switch. It just illustrates not only was the frame rate silky smooth, buttery, perfect, but it had a lot of better things when it comes to comparing it to the Wii version, including the, the view. You can see better views from the distance, I should say the distant view, in Breath of the Wild on the Switch version. On the Wii version, when you see things from a distance, it's like a lot of shadowy, it loses, you know, a lot of detail when you look at the mountains and the landscape and all that good jazz. But, on the Switch version, and you can see that right away, you can see the mountains, the formation, the details in the rocks, a lot better than you could ever do on the Wii version. So, frame rate, better distance view, what else can we imagine that is going to be better on the Switch? compared to the Wii U version. And you know, it's funny, because a lot of people were saying, and I, you know, they weren't understanding how much better cartridges can work for consoles in this day and age, because Breath of the Wild is gonna be on a little, tiny cartridge SD card type deal on the Switch. Whereas, Breath of the Wild on the Wii U is still gonna run off the Wii U optical disc. And a lot of people are like, oh, discs are better, cartridges are bad. What you gotta say about now that boys, girls, stop that right now. So we already saw that Breath of the Wild is probably gonna be the optimal version on the Switch, but I wanna ask this question to you guys. What version are you gonna get? Because of course, in order to play Breath of the Wild on the Switch, you're gonna have to buy the Switch. And a lot of people were like, oh, no, I'm not going to put down all that for a console, even though it might have some really good stuff. But there's a lot of people saying if, if Breath of the Wild is going to be a launch on the Switch, they'll gladly put down. As for me, I'm probably going to end up getting both, end up buying both, or end up getting both from Nintendo. We'll have to see. We'll cross that bridge once we get there, but more than likely, I'm going to get both. It's like 95% chance that I am going to get both some way, either way, even though... They're both are going to release at the same time because it wasn't like the situation back in the day with Twilight Princess being released on the Wii and the GameCube. The Wii version came out first in North America and the GameCube version came out a month later, which was weird. But I dealt with it and I still ended up getting both because like a huge Zelda fan that I was, I put all the money towards Twilight Princess on the GameCube version when we knew that it was only going to be on the GameCube. So my, my, my reservation was set. And then the Wii comes around and I'm like, oh yeah, Twilight Princess is going to be on this as well. Alright, I go to buy my Wii, and I get Twilight Princess with it because I ain't gotta wait a month when everyone else is gonna play it on this system. 16 by 9 mm, mm no way. So, that's probably gonna be a similar scenario, but it's not similar to the fullest extent because, of course, it's releasing at the same time, according to Nintendo, for Wii U and the Switch. But then also begs another question, is this truly gonna be a launch title for the Switch? 
If it is, then both titles are going to come out in March. This is probably going to be safe for another video, but I want to touch upon that a little bit. Because we've seen everything when it comes to Breath of the Wild's, I would say, attachments. Including amiibos and amiibos that are going to be compatible with it. And what the amiibos are going to do. Or I should say what a good amount of the amiibos are going to do. Like all the amiibos that are out right now, we know what they're going to do in Breath of the Wild. But we still don't know what the Rider Link, Archer Link, and the Guardian is going to do in the game. Even though we can assume. But we already seen the box art and how the boxes are going to look like with the amiibos of those three amiibos. So I mean, like if we know that already and those amiibos are coming out and February we're getting Arts and Artifacts and Switch is coming out in March even though a lot of people are saying that it might be released in June thanks to, you know, uh, debugging and localization issues. Uh, that's still a rumor and I'm very hopeful still that this game is going to release in March alongside the Switch as a launch title and on the Wii U because, you know, I feel that it will be a little detrimental if both versions came out like in June. When the Switch is already out, I'm not saying that, oh, as a Switch launch title, oh, Switch is not going to sell. No, not that. What I'm saying is that what would be the point at that point in time, three months after the Switch releases, I'm pretty sure people are going to go double down on the system. What's the point of owning a Wii U by that time and having Breath of the Wild release on the Wii U? And all that, plus the notion that the Wii U is going to be the inferior version heavily than the Switch version of Breath of the Wild. So, I mean, or if the game, I want to ask that as well to you guys. If the game does release in June and the Switch is already out, are you guys still going to get it for the Wii U? Or are you just going to go out and get the Switch and then wait for the awesome version of the Switch? The version that you can take with you on the go? Like, what's the deal, Nintendo? It will be a, I think it will be a better stance to release them launch of the Switch so that, you know, when people who, people who don't have the money to get the Switch or just want to wait on the Switch a little bit, they don't have to wait for Breath of the Wild because they probably already have a Wii U and then they'll just go in and get Breath of the Wild for the Wii U. But at the same time, the Wii U sales have not been great and there are not a lot of Wii U's out there for people to own, but Breath of the Wild could change that if it was a launch title for the Switch, maybe. But at the same time, I'm getting ahead of myself that's probably not going to happen because why would they buy a Wii U for Breath of the Wild when they could buy a Wii U, not buy a Wii U for the Breath of the Wild, when they could buy a Switch for Breath of the Wild. You know, it's at this point that all the stars are aligning to the fact that the only reason why Nintendo is releasing Breath of the Wild on the Wii U is because they, they kind of promised Wii U owners they don't want Wii U owners to be thrown under the rug. Even though at this point, like everything else just goes to proves that it's detrimental to release this thing on the Wii U and they should just double down and have this thing out on the Switch. One, it's an inferior version. Two, if it's not releasing launch title on the Switch, what makes, what, why would people buy this thing in June on the Wii U when the Switch will be out for three months already? So, all these factors go out to the main question, are you guys gonna get Breath of the Wild on Switch a Wii U and I want and I'm pretty sure that a lot of you guys are gonna say you're gonna get it on the Switch because of all those factors. Sure, I'm probably gonna get both, but damn Nintendo really kinda screwed the Wii U over when looking at all of these variables. And that was the point of this video because I wanna get that across. I love having these discussions with you guys about Zelda and about the prospect of Nintendo and how they're handling their games. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and most importantly, subscribe to HMK for more Switch and Zelda and Breath of the Wild content. So until the next one, I've been HMK, and I'll check you guys later.